Look at that beautiful stack of wood. On Monday, Dad uh, went to the post office, I think. He saw a sign that said, free firewood. So, went to the fire hall and there was a whole bunch of poplar trees that they had just finished. Look at that. Sarah and Simon did all that. Organized it. I don't think this has ever been this clean in here. Anyway, so we had, I think, three or four dump trailer loads of poplar dumped over here um, on Monday. And then yesterday and today and on Monday we stacked and chopped a whole bunch. So we still have this, this to do. Kind of a big project, but lots of fun when we're all working together. It has all summer to cure, and we're good for wood for next year. Chop wood. Do not chop wood with your legs together. Yes. Stop! <laughs> the second way not to chop wood. Do not chop wood backwards. It. <laughs> the only time that you would be able to do that is if there was a wedge in here, right? Then yeah. you'd hit the wedge. The third way to not chop wood. Many people do this and, and it, it's just so dangerous. Are you guilty of it? No. Ever since I was a wee little lassie, my papa has taught me to spread my legs when I chop wood. Are you Irish? No. You don't walk towards it and go like this. Now, why? Because if you miss, your leg's right there. Classic movie. <laughs> What's the movie? Classic no, movie, Love, Love Comes Softly. Love Terrible story. The dad <laughs> Although it's actually good to cut it because then the girl meets the boy who saves her dad oh, and it ends. Oh, that, that is so annoying. That's terrible. Anyway, that is so cheesy. Don't do I'm that. Sorry. Now, number four way to not chop wood. Don't jump while you chop. Doesn't work very good. Because of the bounce. His aim got distorted. Exactly. <laughs> and he missed. Them. Know the length of your axe so as not to possibly miss it or to hit it like that. That's then uncomfortable when that happens. Bet on the axe and it's very uncomfortable on the head. Yeah. And don't hit in the middle of the block like you said before. Hit either here or here. And it also always helps to find a a crack in the wood that you can wedge your axe into. If you ever come to two knots, such as this, go in the middle. Yeah. It seems to help a lot. Another way not to chop wood is don't chop wood when people are standing around. <laughs> it's not safe. Amber, you're guilty, guilty of that. that. And the final way to not chop wood is do not bend over excessively as it will cause great discomfort in thy back. 
demonstrate how not to do that. We shall demonstrate the correct way to chop wood. Let's turn this around so they think it's one piece of wood. All right. Let's review how to properly and safely chop wood. First of all, you spread your legs to the right and whip. Then you take your axe, a sharp side out, of course. Make sure you know exactly where you're going to hit and the length of your axe. You want to make sure that oh, when the axe comes down, it doesn't hit the middle of the wood because then you're trying to split two sides apart. Yes, that was a perfect way of how to chop wood. And okay. done One very thing. professionally. Bye. One, <laughs> One more thing. Just wait. Oh. You need to see the wood splitting oh, right. before you hit it. Yeah, you see your axe already in the chopping block before it's even there. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I think they're tired you now. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration. If you did, please, please tell us. Okay, bye. 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 Hey, this will be a good picture up here. What? Everybody get in. All right, everyone, look at Simon. Please? Okay. Crowd in. And go, crowd in. Come on, Come on Charles. Charles, Charles. Come on.